Jack went up the beanstalk, afraid he would run into the giant. But instead, at the top of the beanstalk, he saw a golden goose. Cluck, cluck, ka ching! Cluck, cluck, ka ching! Geese don't cluck, cluck, ka ching, Tessa. They honk. <laughs> golden geese do. <sighs> Fine. So the cluck, ka chinging goose stopped to lay a golden egg. And just then, Jack tiptoed in. Here, goosey, goosey, goosey. Come eat this apple. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, there's no apple in the story. You're supposed to grab her because she lays golden eggs. But if she eats the apple, <laughs> maybe she'll lay golden apples instead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why do you want her to lay golden apples? So the giant and I can make a giant apple pie. And then eat it. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> oh, my tummy is so full with giant apple pie. But oh, <laughs> it was so yummy. So oh. full. <laughs> Fee, fi, fo, fa. I mean, fum, fo, fee, fi. <laughs> this giant wants some apple pie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Even though it's not part of my story, I guess that was pretty funny, Jack. Thanks. <laughs> You'd have to pick a bajillion apples to make a pie big enough for a giant like me. Well, maybe not a bajillion, but a lot. I bet we could do it, though. Yeah, we could. Let's go on an apple picking adventure. Let's pick up a bajillion apples. And make a giant apple pie. Then eat the whole thing. Oh, my tummy full of pie. <laughs> <laughs> Jack. <laughs> Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So, hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. A bajillion and one here. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> so you won't have to lay any golden apples after all, Golden Goose. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, Jack, but joke time is over. It's time to get picking. Great. And while you guys pick apples, Sophie and I will make a giant pie crust. Let's get to work. Off to pick some apples. All right. Cool. Off we go. Great! Let's do this! Oh, hi! Sorry, little worm. If this apple is your home, I won't pick it. Whoa! Oh! Oh! What? <laughs> I've got this! Go! <laughs> Guess not. <gasps> Whoa! Are you okay, Jack? Sure, I'm okay. I was just being funny. Hmm. No, you weren't. Be careful, Jack. You could hurt yourself fooling around like that. But that was funny. Why didn't they laugh? I know. It wasn't funny enough. Whoa. <sighs> the first thing we need to make pie crust is flour. Uh, <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. 
Now we need water. Some for the pie crust and some to clean up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, apple bakers. It's time to load the wagon. Sophie and Kobe are waiting for the apples. Whoa! Whoa. Who's rocking the boat? I mean, the basket. Whoa! Whoa! Uh, too heavy for you, Jack? No, it's not too heavy. I was just being funny. Uh, it's still not funny enough, I guess. There's got to be a way I can make them laugh again, like they did during Mia's fairy tale. Is the crust ready to go in the pan yet, Sophie? Almost. Just a little more stirring. Let's zig a dig a do it. Come on, team. We're just about ready to go. <gasps> I know what will make them laugh. <laughs> this is going to be so funny. Hey! Who turned out the lights? Whoa! 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 My apples! Jack, watch where you're going! But I couldn't see where I was going. And I thought it was... Whoa! Uh -huh. giant apple pie. I'm confused. I just want to make you laugh. Everyone thought I was funny during Mia's fairy tale. We were doing a show then, Jack. We were playing. Now we're trying to make a giant apple pie. We're working. So, sometimes it's good to be funny and sometimes it's not? Yeah. 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 Sorry, it's my fault. I should have helped out instead of trying to make you guys laugh. It's okay, Jack. Even I make mistakes sometimes. <laughs> yeah, me too. We all do. <laughs> I do too. Yeah. Well, now I know. There's a time and place for everything. And this is the time and place to make our giant apple pie. Yeah! All right. the biggest pie in the whole entire world. Even with your help, I couldn't eat it all. Whoa. I could eat it all. Help yourself, Mr. Giant. <laughs> <laughs> Let's finish your story, Mia. Finish it, Mia? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't wait. So. Giant saw Jack, and in his big, booming voice, he said, Fee, fi, fo, fum! I feel hungry in my tum! Only 
Actually, the giant wasn't really hungry in his tum because he had just eaten a giant apple pie. Ours. <laughs> yep, he did. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's funny, Mia. <laughs> Thanks. I thought it was the right time and place for a joke. Exactly. Bye, Bow Fum. Better run, cause here I come. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, your turn, Mia. Hmm. Wow. Nice move, Mia. Now you get to take Tessa's checker. Okay, now it's my turn to try to take one of your checkers, Mia. Checkers? I'm great at this game. Shh, I'm figuring out my next move. Easy, just take that checker and... Yay! You're the checkers champ. Well, until you play me, that is. <sighs> Uh, what? What? Eddie, why did you do that? To help you win! Aren't you happy? No, it was my turn to play, not yours. It's okay. Let's play another one, Tessa. Thanks, Mia. Uh, but you said it's my turn next. It would be your turn if you hadn't taken my turn. Eh, oh well, that's okay. I didn't want to play checkers anyway. What do you want to play, Eddie? Something with lots of action. Like soccer, or bike riding, or maybe snow sledding. I like playing in the snow. Me too. We should go on a snow adventure too. Snow Globia! <laughs> yeah! Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So, hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. going to be some kind of contest today. Yeah! Woo! Ho, ho, ho! Whoa! Did you see that? Oh, ho, ho! Hello, hello. I'm Sam. Are you here for the winter snow games? Winter snow games? Yes! That's why we're here! That's great. I really want to win this year. Just like I do every year. Okay, let's get started. Okay, we need to split into teams. I'll be on your team, Sam, because you like to win, like me. Team Sophie Kobe is ready to go. Then let the winter snow games begin. Follow me. First event, snow tennis. How in the name of Freezy Sneezies do we play tennis in the snow? <laughs> Easy. We use our snowshoes for tennis rackets. Like this. Okay. Ready? Steady Eddie is super ready. Here comes my first serve. Uh, I got it. Ah. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! Point for our team. Um, it was supposed to be my shot. We won the point, right? Right. Let's keep playing. Uh, this time I'm really good at it. <laughs> oh, got it. Got it. That's mine. Oh, well. Good game. 
game, Sophie. That's game. We win. Woo! That was super fun. <sighs> but I didn't even take one shot. Next up, the sled race. Now that's my kind of game. They call me Sleddy Eddie. Here are the rules, everyone. We slide down the hill to those flags, grab a flag, then push off again to the finish line. We're gonna win for sure! Cause I'm really good at pushing. Uh, uh, ready, set, go! Huh? Oh. Whoa! But let me push off the No, 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 stop! Uh, uh, got it! Your turn to push, Kobe! Zig and zig and two! Whoa! <laughs> yeah! Whoa! 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 When we win, we scream and shout, because winning's what it's all about! <laughs> right, Eddie? <laughs> right. I guess. <sighs> yeah, nice job, Sophie. That was really such a blast. Even though we came in last. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I like to win, but I think they're having more fun. Okay, it's time for the last competition. Whatever the game is, I'm going to actually play this time. Last game is the snowman making contest. Best one wins. Yes! I'm a great snowman maker. <whistles> that means go! But Chica Chica do this! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> there we go! Now we can use my snowball for the head. No need. Whoa. 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 <sighs> Time's up! All done! <gasps> We're done, too! I hope we get a good score! Two, two, one! What about us? What's our score? Three, three, one. Oh! <laughs> we got the highest score! You got the highest score. I didn't get to help at all. <laughs> when we win, we scream and shout because winning's what it's all about. <sighs> Great job, guys. Your team won the winter snow games. It was fun, wasn't it? Yes. Not really. Well, of course it was. We won. I know, but you know what? Winning isn't everything. I'd like a turn to do my thing. Uh, what does that mean? When you're playing a game, here's something to learn. It's way more fun if we all get a turn. Winning is cool and trophies are nice. But when everyone's out, Snow and the ice, slipping and sliding and giggling and burring. It's way more fun when we all get a turn. Winning isn't everything, and others like to do their thing. Listen close and try to learn. Everyone deserves a turn. Winning isn't everything, and others like to do their thing. Tessa must have felt when I won her checkers game for her. I bet she was really happy. No, she wasn't. She wanted to play her own game, win or lose. Yeah, I don't get it. Winning isn't everything. everything. And others like to do their thing. Awesome! Woohoo! Hey, 
Hey, Tessa. Did you win? Not yet. But please don't show me what move to make. Don't worry, Tessa. I've learned my lesson. It's not my turn yet. Even though I see a really good move. All right. Never mind. Thanks, Eddie. Oh, great move, Tessa. That's just what I would have done if it were my turn. <laughs> I won! I think I really won! Yay! Whoa! <laughs> wow! I guess it wasn't such a great move after all, huh? Still, that was a good game. Good game, Mia. Let's play again. Yeah, let's all take turns. All right, your turn, Eddie. Okay, Kobe. Jetty! Awesome! Eddie, you're supposed to try and catch it. I know, but I love the noise the boom bouncer makes when it hits the ground. Kick it to me, Eddie! Okay! <laughs> Silly doggy. It's just a ball. He's not silly, Tessa. The boom bouncer noise scared him. <sighs> it's okay, Lucky. We all get scared sometimes. Here's what I do when a loud noise scares me. <laughs> you made him feel better, Kobe. Good boy, Lucky. <laughs> Truck. Let's go see! <laughs> What's going on? Can you see? Wow! Mrs. Melvin's cat got stuck in the tree again. The firefighters are going to use their ladder to get it down. Ooh! They're so helpful and brave. That makes my heart sparkle. Yeah, I bet firefighters never get scared of anything. Everyone gets scared sometimes, Tessa. Not firefighters and not me. I'm going to be a firefighter someday. Me too. Hey, we should go on a firefighter adventure. Who wants to come? Me. I do. Eddie and I are going to stay here to watch the rescue. Have fun. Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun.
like us to take you home? Huh? What's wrong? Are you afraid of the fire truck? <laughs> That's silly. It's just a fire truck. Tessa, I don't think she's ever seen one before. New things can be scary. Come on, Tessa. Let's show her our truck. Great idea! This is where Kobe and Tessa hold on and ride. This is our ladder. We use it to reach things that are really high. And this is where the driver sits. <laughs> hey, that's my seat. Now let's drive you home. Fire and rescue away! Like someone's in trouble. Tumpty Dumpty, up on a wall. I don't want to have a great fall. Uh, he looks scared. Well, that's silly. He climbed up. Why should he be scared to climb down? I remember the first time I climbed up to the tree house. I was too scared to climb back down. Huh. Well, we need to help him, but it's really high. I'll do it. I used to be scared, but now I love to climb. Whee! This is fun! Hmm. I didn't think a big egg like Humpty would be scared of anything. Everyone gets scared sometimes, Tessa. Here we go. Oh, my. Good. <coughs> there you go, Humpty. Safe and sound. Oh, thank you. Bye-bye. Hey, y'all, over here. Hey, Andy. Is something wrong? My son, Otis Beaver, has wandered off again. He probably went to play with some friends in the woods there, but... I need him to help me cut these trees. Don't worry. We'll find him for you. Firefighter team to the rescue! Um... Hey, what's wrong, Tessa? Oh, um, nothing. Flies, Tessa. Haven't you ever seen them before? No, they scared me. New things can be scary, like when the bunny first saw a fire truck. You want to go and meet the fireflies together, Tessa? Okay. Everyone's scared of something, no matter how brave they seem. Tight spaces. High places are things you've never seen. Before you shiver or cry or yell, remember your friends are there to help. Cause there's no reason to run and hide when your best friends are by your side. Cause everyone's braver together. Everyone's braver together. shiver or cry or yell cause I know my friends are here to help and there's no reason to run and hide cause my best friends are by my side and everyone's braver together everyone's braver together Thanks. 
you are. Ooh, thanks for finding them. You're welcome. Now, next time you have a hankering to wander off, you'll let your dad know, won't you, son? I will, Dad. Promise. That's my boy. Aw, that makes my heart sparkle. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys. Hello. Hi. We're back from our fire and rescue adventure. We rescued everybody. Did the firefighters rescue Mrs. Moment's kitty? Yep. She was so happy. Now we're teaching Lucky how to shake hands. <laughs> They're leaving! Come on, let's go watch! No thanks. I'll stay with Lucky. I think he's a little scared. Give me a paw. Hey, thanks, Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cute. You and me at CCC. I, I care, care for you. you. You care for me. Hey, stop! Can't catch me! Oh, yes, I can! Nope! Yup! <laughs> You're really good at playing puppets, Tessa. Thanks, I'm always ready for action. Tessa style! But if we're going to do our puppet show today, we need to figure out the story. You're good at that part, Sophie. So you do that, and I'll start the show. No, wait, we need a plan. Come on, everyone. Come see our puppet show. Cool. Yay! Hey, stop. Can't catch me. Oh, yes, I can. Nope. Yup. <laughs> You're funny, Tessa. What happens next? Well, uh, they keep running and chasing each other. Then they run some more and, and... You need a better story, Tessa. Zika digga do. Hey, look, it's Police Officer Becky. Officer Becky! Hello, Officer Becky. Hello. Officer Becky is great. I'll bet she's really good at solving things. Yeah, police officers like to figure things out, like I do. So I'd make a great police officer. And they have to act fast when someone needs help, like I do. So I'd be the best. I think I'd be the best. No, I would. Why don't we find out who'd make the best police officer? A police adventure! Yeah, let's go! Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So, hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Okay, let's figure this out. The blue car goes first, then the red and yellow cars pass, and open things up for the green car. The perfect plan. Huh? Keep moving, please. Stop! Okay, go. And now you. This way, please. Over here. Oh, thank you, Officer Tessa. No problem, I'm always ready to jump in and help. <sighs> what 
in the name of Dashing Ducklings is going on? Poor Mama Duck. Her babies won't stay in line. Officer Tessa will help. Excuse me, may I borrow your fishing pole? Hey! Stay here, little duckies! And... Perfect. Hey, ducky ducky, please come back! Don't worry, Mama Duck. Officer Sophie has this all figured out. Your babies keep chasing after all different things they want. Hey! And since they all want bread, now they'll chase after you. You're welcome, ma'am. All you really needed was a plan. Problem, little kittens. We're three little kittens, and we've lost our mittens. I'll, I'll find, find them. Don't worry. I'll figure out where your mittens are. I'll look everywhere till I find them. You can't just start looking. You need more information to find them. No time for that. These kittens need help right now. Getting information is helping. Looking everywhere is faster. Well, I'm going to find the mittens first. I'll find them first. Hmm. Ugh. Tell me, please, when was the last time you saw the kittens and their mittens? Oh, my. Have they lost them again? Oh, they should be more careful where they put their things. Just the facts, ma'am. When did you last see them? Oh, uh, yes. Um, I saw the kittens with mittens playing in the meadow. Thank you. This information will help me be the first to solve the case of the missing mittens. Hmm. I don't see any mittens. I bet those birds can see a lot more of fairy tale land from way up there. I need to get up higher. If I'm going to be the first to solve... The case of the missing mittens. Those kittens. They're always losing their mittens, and they never know where to find them. Have you seen the kittens around here? Oh, yes. They love coming to the meadow to play with my children, who, by the way, have never lost a pair of mittens. Just the facts, ma'am. I understand. Kittens love to climb, and that's a fact. Oh, their favorite tree is the tallest one in the fairy tale forest. Thank you, ma'am. That will definitely help me to solve the case of the missing mittens. I found them! I found them. I found them first. I'm going to get them first. But how am I going to get them? I can't climb all the way up there. This big balloon can't get close enough to reach them. Tessa, I can't do this alone. I think we need to work together to finish... The, the case, case of, of the, the Missing, missing mittens. mittens. One can see the problem. Two can talk it through. And when we work together, there's nothing we can't do. I help to plan the way And if we work together Then we can save the day With teamwork, teamwork We can get it done With teamwork, teamwork Everything's more fun Woohoo! Yes! Great job! The case 
of the missing mittens is solved. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, little kittens, try to be more careful with your mittens. Yo, yo, yo! Bye. Bye now. Bye. Um, has anyone seen my shoes? Once upon a time, there were three little doggies. Ruff. The first little dog, that's me, built a dog house made of straw. But then, a great big wolf came along and said, Let me in, or I'll blow your house down. Stop in the name of the law. Huh? As police officers, we cannot let you blow someone's house down. But that's how the story goes. Sorry, ma'am. The law is the law. I heard that one little dog is building a strong doghouse of bricks. Ahem. <clears throat> We're not at that part yet. Why don't we build a brick house for everyone so no one's house will get blown down? We can all work together on that. This is not how the story goes. We can build one way over there for the wolf. We can use these bricks. <gasps> and so, together, they built four brick houses, and they all lived happily ever after. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lucky. <sighs> but this place needs is some good laughs. Hey, Kobe. Knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting cow. Moo. <laughs> Get it? The cow interrupts and says, moo. We got it. It's funny. I know. Thanks. Twinkle, twinkle, magic wand. Make this dog sleep on and on. I think it's working. <laughs> Jack, you woke up poor Lucky. <laughs> but it was funny, right? Nope. Mm, I'll put a little bit here and maybe over here and... Oh, yeah. This is going to be so funny. A little more yellow. <laughs> oh, that looks pretty good. <laughs> Just touch up the hair. <laughs> Eddie, don't move, please. Something's tickling me. And a little bit of blue. Oh, right <laughs> here. Hey! Oh! <gasps> Look what you made me do! <gasps> Eddie has a blue mustache. That is funny. No, it's not. You made me mess up my painting. I was just trying to be funny. I thought you guys liked it when I'm funny. We do like it, sometimes. But right now, everyone is doing other stuff. And your funny stuff is wrecking it. Well, I think my funny stuff is funny. But if you guys don't like it, I'll find something else to do. I'm gonna go on a farm adventure, Jack. Wanna come with me? Okay, that sounds like fun. Me too. I want to go too. Sure, all four of us can go. Great, and maybe I can finally figure out why the chicken crossed the road. <laughs> get it? I don't get it. Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So, hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Situation. Hey, hey, come out and play. 
You surprised the eggs right out of those chickens. But it was funny. <laughs> Hey, it's Marge the cow. Good morning, Marge. <laughs> Good morning to you kids. I'd love to stop and visit, but I'm a little too busy today. You have to move all this hay by yourself? I'm afraid so. My husband Bernie is out working in the field today. I know what will make it easier. A good joke. Uh, or maybe we could just help? Knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting cow who? Moo! Ah! Moo! <laughs> hey, that was my line. <laughs> Settle down, dear. I'm sorry. My little Catherine is still a baby. She doesn't always know how to control herself yet. She has so much energy. It makes it hard to get any work done. We'd be happy to help you stack the hay bales. And I could take Catherine outside and keep her busy. Oh, that would be wonderful. Now, where is my cowbell? I need it to call everyone in for lunch soon. <laughs> Me hide it, Mama. <laughs> Catherine, my cowbell is not a toy. Where did you hide it? I forgot it. Sorry, Mama. Don't worry. I'll help her look for it. Moo! Good luck, and thank you. Okay, Catherine, think. Where did you hide the cowbell? <laughs> Chickens! Run, run, run! <laughs> <laughs> Chicken. No, Catherine. <laughs> no funny? They don't really like it when you chase them around. Why don't you feed them some chicken food instead? They would definitely like that. Okay. Happy chickens. Happy, 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 happy. Happy. <laughs> gentle, Catherine. Gentle. Now I do know why the chickens cross the road. To get away from Catherine. <laughs> piggies, piggies. <laughs> we go see piggies. No, Catherine. Wait. We're looking for the cowbell, remember? <laughs> piggies, funny. <laughs> They're not trying to be funny, Catherine. They're making that noise because they want apples, too. Uh, not being funny? No, it's not nice to tease them. I know. Maybe we can make them because they're happy. Yeah. Happy piggies, happy piggies. Yes. They like it when you do something nice for them. You know what? We should both try to stop and think about how what we do makes others feel. Huh? You gotta stop and think, then think again. What's funny to you may not Gotta stop and think, then think again. What's funny to you may not be funny to them. So stop and think before you do. And don't just think about you, you, you. Be thoughtful of your friends. Friends have feelings too. Have fun, but in the end, make sure that they're having fun with you. Then think again What's funny to you may not be funny to them So stop and think before you do And don't just think about you, you, you Be thoughtful of your friends Friends have feelings too Have fun but in the end Make sure that they're having 
<laughs> you got it, Catherine. Oh, Catherine. <gasps> Catherine remembered. <laughs> Mama's bell. Oh, <laughs> you remembered where you hid it. Good job, Catherine. I sorry, Mama. Hiding not funny. That's okay, sweetie. And thank you, Jack, for helping my baby. Sometimes I forget to think of others, too. Sorry, guys. We're both going to try to do better. Right, Catherine? Moo! <laughs> <laughs> was fun! Hey guys, you're just in time for cookies and milk. Yeah! I bet if I snuck up on Mia and yelled, boo, she'd jump in the air and drop her cookie. Uh, Jack, I don't know. But I won't, because that might be funny to me, but I don't think it would make Mia very happy. Here, Jack! Ah! <laughs> Oops, sorry. <laughs> Now that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, a frog with the crown. I bet you're really a prince. Ribbit, yep, that's what I am. A frog prince. Ribbit, pass it. Ugh. <laughs> nice shot. Poor, poor froggy. Uh, Mia, watch out, froggy. Some mean witch put a magic spell on you. Mia! Didn't you hear? Hear what? Oh, look! Bet Ella's going to Mrs. Melman's house. I bet she's checking on her kitty. I'm going to be a veterinarian when I grow up. I'll help lots of animals. Say ah. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Sophie's going to be a great vet someday. But first she'll have to practice with lots of animals. <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> You're right, Eddie. And there are lots of animals in the jungle. <sighs> That's why I'm going on a jungle adventure. Sounds like fun. I'll come with you. Oh, me too. Me too. Maybe there's a frog there we can turn into a prince. Bye. Have fun. Hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So, hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. I'm veterinarian Sophie. And I'm her assistant, Mia. And I'm... What am I, vet Sophie? You're the, um, note-taking, problem-asking, people-greeting-behind-the-desk person. The medical receptionist. Cool! So, why don't you all tell me why you're here to see the vet? <laughs> okay, I see. Uh-huh, I hear you. It's important for a vet to listen carefully to the patient before deciding what's wrong. Then we can make sure each of them gets the right treatment. Ooh, stickers. I can't wait to hand out stickers. Vet Sophie, this is Benji. And here is his chart. Interesting. Thanks, Kobe. So how are you feeling, Benji? Cold. You have a cold? Oh, no! But, but I... Huh. You're going to need lots of tissues and cough drops and soup and a nice warm blanket. That's nice, Mia, but let's listen to everything Benji has to say. Thank you, Vet Sophie. I was going to say I have cold feet. Brr. When did you first notice this? Um, 
right before I went to bed last night. I see. And do you usually wear something on your feet at bedtime? Oh, yes. I wear nice, warm, fuzzy slippers. But I lost them. Then I have just the right treatment for you. Medical receptionist Kobe, can you please bring in a pair of warm, fuzzy slippers size super duper extra, extra large? Sure. Oh, um, actually, make that two pairs of slippers. I'm on it. Here you go, Vet Sophie. Thanks, Kobe. Oh, <laughs> warm and fuzzy on all four feet. Thank you. I feel so much better now. <laughs> Woohoo! That Sophie, this is Mel. She doesn't know why she keeps bouncing up and down. Uh, like that. So, Mel, let's take a listen. We don't need to listen. I can tell that Mel has a case of the jumping jitters. We can use a big piece of super sticky tape to stick her tail to the floor so she'll stop bouncing. <laughs> Maybe we should listen a little closer to our patient, Mia. My stethoscope can hear what's going on inside her body. <clears throat> I think you have the hiccups. Hiccup. Don't worry, they don't last long. But sometimes it helps to hold your breath and count to five. Try it with me. <gasps> One, two, three, four. Um, what comes next? <laughs> Pretty sure it's not six or eight. It's five! <sighs> <sighs> Looks like your hiccups are gone. <laughs> Glad we could help. Ollie Ostrich was here a minute ago. Uh, but I think I lost him. I think I found him. Uh, Vet Sophie, we've got a patient who's a little scared. Hmm. Ollie just needs someone to listen to him and calm him down. I'll go see him. Murray Penguin? You'll be next, Murray. Follow me. Just wait right here. Vet Sophie will be back soon. No need to wait for Vet Sophie. I can see what's wrong with you without even asking. You're sad. And I bet I know why. Nobody remembered your birthday. Mia to the rescue! Oh, here you go. Oh. This will help. Here you go. Hold this. Hmm. Perfect. Oops. Sorry, Murray. All better now, Ollie. We'll give you a ride home as soon as I see the last patient. What in the name of busted balloons happened here? Murray Penguin is sad, so I tried to cheer him up. But I think I made it worse. Why is he sad? I thought I knew, but I didn't really listen, and I don't know. Hi, Murray. Can you tell us why you've got the gloomies? Hmm, a picture of snow. Like where you come from? <gasps> you ice skate there, right? <laughs> that does look like fun. It's a snowman! Now I know why you're sad. I listened to you and now I know. You miss your home, right? Good listening, Mia. Now, let's make you feel better. Next stop, Snow Globia. Listening's what you need to do. So you hear your friends and they hear you. You'll never know what you might be missing if you don't stop and give a little listen. Hear that happy penguin sound, cause now you're home all safe and sound. If you don't stop and give a little listen 
back in his snowy home. That makes my heart sparkle. Don't worry, Ollie. I heard you. Yeah, it was great. We gave Fuzzy Wuzzy slippers to an elephant with cold feet. And we helped an ostrich. And we took a homesick penguin back to Snowglobia. Sounds like a wild adventure. It was. But I think you guys left something out. Remember the monkey with the hiccups? <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Mia. Yep, I was listening. Snack time! I've got cookies! I heard that! Yum! See? Good things happen when you listen. Cookies for you, cookies for you! Thank you! <laughs> Whoa, these are delicious! Get ready for Steady Eddie to kick this ball to the sky! Here it comes! Eddie. Oh, thanks. Now it's Tessa's turn to kick. Hey, where are you going, Eddie? It's Colby's turn to pitch and your turn to catch. No thanks. I just like kicking. That's not fair to us. You have to play all the parts of the game, not just the fun parts. Colby can throw and catch. He's really good at it. <laughs> What do you see, Mr. Papa? Never mind. I'll look myself. Oh, the bus is coming. Emily, the bus driver, is so nice. And she gets to drive a bus. She's always right on time. And she gets to drive a bus. She stops at every single bus stop. And she gets to drive a bus. Maybe we should go on a bus driving adventure together. Great idea, Sophie. I'll drive. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah. Hey, guys. We're going on a bus driving adventure. Want to come? Okay. Sounds like fun. Woohoo! I'm going to drive a bus. Have some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. driver's job is to politely wait for the passengers to board. Uh, maybe. But the fun part is driving! That screen shows you all the places you have to stop. Huh? You better slow down, Eddie. The first stop is coming up... now! No one here? Okay, let's go. Wait! It's the tortoise queen! I want to get off here and go say hi. Yeah, me too. <sighs> hi. Hello, tortoise queen. Hello. Are you coming? No, thanks. I don't want to say hi. I want to drive! 
It's super fun. I love super fun. I'll go with you. Cool. We'll come back and pick them up later. Oh, oh. Goodness, he's in a hurry. I suppose that's good. He'll be picking up guests for our party. Party? Every year, we celebrate the day I was crowned queen of the jungle. With music, cake, decorations. You're all invited, of course. Though we're not quite ready yet. Would you like some help? I would love some help. Then the perfect party planning people are here. Let's get busy, everyone. Ah! Driving through the mud is awesome! <laughs> Okay, right there. Ha. What a wonderful stage. Perfect for the monkey band. Uh, where is the band? They'll be on the bus when it gets back here. I think that was a bus stop, Eddie. You should have stopped. Hold on, Mia. This is going to be a big one. for the cake. And if we're going to have cake, we're going to need plates. And forks. And forks and forks and forks. And very special napkins. Yes! How wonderful! Our guests will love this. Whoa! <laughs> I feel like a He can start the moment the bus arrives. Here it is now! Woohoo! That was awesome! Eddie, where are the guests? <laughs> guests? Yes, they were coming on the bus. And bringing the music and cake and decorations. Uh-oh. I guess I should have stopped at those bus stops, huh, Mia? Yes, Eddie. That's what bus drivers do. Yeah. I guess everyone was counting on me to do every part of the job, not just the fun driving part. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Hmm. Well, I'll just go back and do the route again. And this time, I'll stop at every bus stop. I promise. Yeah! Yay! Fantastic! We know you like to drive the bus and never want to stop. But once you've picked up all the gas, this party's gonna pop. Do your 
your best with everything and do it with a smile. When you decide to start something and finish it in style. They're counting on me to do my part, not just the part that's fun. So I will help with everything and think about everyone. Ever, hey guys? Yeah! Woohoo! What a great party! So fun! Best party ever! Yay! <laughs> hey, anyone want to play ball now? Sure, let's all play! I'll go outfield and catch! But you don't like to catch. Hey, if you want to play a game, you gotta play all the parts, right? Right. That makes it fair for everyone. Awesome! Yay! Let's do it! Oh. Uh, oh, yes. I'm on it! Uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thanks, Lucky. Oh. Wow! You know, catching's kind of fun, too. Now it's my turn to pitch to Kobe! Eddie's in the pit! Bucket, please, Tessa. <laughs> hey. Sorry, I need it for my town. Huh. There, just a few more stores. What you making, Mia? I'm building my very own town. This is the school, and this is the road to the school. This is a toy store, an ice cream parlor, and this is the mayor's house. Who's the mayor? Me! That's why this town is called Mia Town. Cool. I'm gonna build Eddieville. Right next door. And I'll make Sophie Gardens. No, you can't. This is Mia Town. I made it up all by myself. We won't change it, Mia. We'll make our own towns. And we won't take any of your stuff. Come on, let's make some plans. But. I don't want them to play town. This was my idea. What if they build better towns than me? I know. I'll make my town so big, there won't be any room for theirs. This big house right here. Steady Eddie is ready to build. Me too. We're ready to build, me. Mia Town has grown. Like it? But Mia... There's not enough room now for us to build our towns. Sorry. I guess you'll have to play something else. I guess we could. Or we could go somewhere where there's lots of room, like Snow Globia. Yes, there's room there for all of us to build. Come on, Mia. Well, okay. Have some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Sophie. Oh, you're in for it now. Oh, nice throw, too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where's Mia? <laughs> Mia, where are you going? I'm going to go build something. Great, 
Want some help? No, thanks. I guess Mia wants to play by herself today. I guess. Duck! Ah! <laughs> I don't want them to see the snow castle I'm building, or they may want to copy me again. Snow castle's my idea. It's going to be tall, with a big throne room, and pointy things on top. And a special place to put my... Mia flag. Not bad. But it could use a nice ice slide. Who said that? Me! <laughs> yeah. Whoa! Hello! Who are you? Name's Celia. What's yours? I'm Mia. So, you're building something. Um, yes. My very own snow castle. <laughs> I could never think up something like that. Uh... Thanks. But you know what might be cool? An ice slide all the way around. Wow, I love that. But I don't know if I can build that by myself. Want some help? Okay. My heart sparkle. <gasps> Wait! One more thing. Whee! <laughs> Wait for me! <laughs> <laughs> Our snow house is awesome, Eddie. Yeah! Let's get Mia to come and see it. Maybe we can build another one all together. You close your eyes and count to five, Mia. I'll hide. Oh, I love hide and seek. One, two, three, four, five. Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> Eddie and Sophie, I don't want Celia to see them. She might like them better than she likes me. Hey, Mia, who are you talking to? Oh, you must have heard me sing my, uh, building song. It's my building song, and it's not too long. Just a song. <laughs> wow, your snow castle is amazing. We made a snow house. Want to see it? Uh, no thanks. I'm just going to build some more stuff here. Why don't we all build together? Yeah! yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, no thanks. I'm okay. You go ahead, have fun. Bye-bye. Phew! <gasps> Humphrey! <laughs> wow, you win, Celia. Was somebody else here, Mia? I heard you talking. I was singing my hide-and-seek song. Hide-and-seek song, it's not very long. My song. <laughs> oh, okay. Now it's your turn to hide. One, two, three. <laughs> Wait, that sounds like laughing. No, that's not laughing. That's uh, the wind. Ooh, ah, ooh. Keep counting, Celia. Hmm. One, two, three, four. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Oh, I knew I heard someone. <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm Celia. Hi, I'm Eddie, and this is Sophie. Want to play with us? Hey! Celia's my new friend, and we're playing hide-and-seek right now. Well, but let's go sliding with them, Mia. It looks like fun. Come on! Come on, Mia! Yeah, come on, Mia! In a minute... Rats! We only have two saucers, Celia. You can use mine first. And Mia can use mine. I don't need a saucer. Oh, wow! Oh, yeah! Oh, that was cool. Wow! Whoa! <laughs> hey, Mia! What are you still doing here? Come and grab a snow saucer. No, thanks. 
thanks. <laughs> What's wrong? Is everything okay? No, it's not fair. Celia was my friend. I'm still your friend, Mia. Yeah, but now you like Eddie and Sophie better than you like me. I don't like anyone better. I like all of you. <laughs> the more, the merrier. Really? Sure. There's always room for another friend. <laughs> right, guys? That's, That's right. right. You and I are friends forever through the good times and the bad. I'll always be your pal whenever you're happy or you're sad. And when a new friend comes along, our friendship circle starts to grow. You all lose a friend, you gain one. Now there's one more friend you know. The more, the merrier, a friendship circle never ends. The more, the merrier, there's always room for one more friend. The more, the merrier, a friendship circle never ends. The more, the merrier, there's always room for one more friend. I'm sorry I tried to keep Celia all to myself. The more the merrier. The more the merrier! Town called Lucky Town? Yep. Can we help? <laughs> yeah. Sure. The more the merrier in Lucky Town. <gasps> <laughs> I see a bluebird and a cloud that looks like a bird. And I love birds, especially blue ones. Oh, and red ones and brown. Sophie, I was still talking. I see a black dog and some white flowers. I love flowers, too. Sophie, I was... Oh, I see Miss Nancy. Miss Nancy, the teacher? She's amazing. Maybe I'll be a teacher just like her when I grow up. Me, too. Hi, Miss Nancy. She's going to be my teacher one day. She's the greatest. She's so nice, she's really smart, and she knows so much about everything, and... Huh? Tessa? Hello, class. I'm Miss Tessa. Hello, Hello Miss Tessa. Tessa. Today, I'd like you all to tell me what you did yesterday. Oh, 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 me, 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 me! Kobe? Well, I made... Oh, you're playing school? Can I be teacher next? Sophie, I called on Kobe. Kobe? Uh, let's see. Yesterday I made a new... Oh, Kobe, tell them what you found. Sophie, it's Kobe's turn to talk. Okay. So, um, yesterday I made a new... Tell her the other thing, Kobe. Remember what you found? Uh, okay. Um, I found this pink... He found a pink rock. Isn't that cool? <sighs> Miss Tessa? Yes, Eddie? Is it recess yet? Oh, I have this great new game I want to teach you guys at recess. Sophie, you need to wait until I call on you before you talk. Um, okay. Yes, Mia? Can we play something else now? I... But I want a chance to be teacher. Sophie, I'm not done talking. Let's play teacher tag instead. Tessa, you be it. Tessa style. <laughs> okay, but you all better start running! <laughs> Here she comes! <laughs> <sighs> but I really want to play school. <gasps> I know. I'll have my own school in the jungle where I can be the teacher. today we're gonna have some fun use our imagination you can be anyone in any city 
situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're going to have so much fun. Use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Hey, like I have some students. Whoa, and the perfect classroom. Time for school. Quack. Take your seats, please, students. Seats? Quack. Okay. Quack. Okay. <laughs> Welcome, students. Those are your seats. <laughs> This will be so much fun. So, how many students do I have? Let's see. I have one, two... Buckle my shoe! <laughs> <laughs> Settle down. Okay, so I have one, two, three... Ribbit! Excuse me. May I hop in and join your class? <laughs> yes, you may join us. I'd love to have you. Come and sit quietly, please. <laughs> okay, you can sit up here with me and be my helper. More frogs on a log. Welcome, students. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Moving on. Class, gather around. It's story time. Today's story will be Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Uh, teacher, teacher. Shh, it's my turn to talk now. Remember? Today's story will be Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Once upon a time... Seeds! Uh, seeds! We want... <laughs> Once upon a time... I think they need to stretch their legs. <laughs> Please remain seated. It is not polite to hop while I am reading. Once upon a time... Oh, oh. Monkey see! Monkey do! <laughs> Look out below! <laughs> our seat! Our seat! It's okay! See? Your seats are fine! We'll pick them up! <laughs> hey! Any banana flavored seats up here? <laughs> It's time to exercise! Hopping frogs and jumping jacks! How do you do? My name is Jack. Excuse me! Class, I need you all to listen to me! Ugh, this is so frustrating! No one is listening to me! I can't finish what I'm saying before somebody interrupts me and... Ribbit! Do you have something to say? Uh... Okay, I want to hear it, but please wait. I wasn't finished talking yet. <laughs> Never mind. I can't even remember now what I was going to say. What do you want to say? Uh, oh. Oh no, I made you wait so long that you forgot what you were going to say too. Hmm. I wonder. Do you think if I let my students talk some of the time, they wouldn't interrupt me so much? Interribit? Interrupt. Interrupt means to talk before someone else has finished. See? Um, 
If you're saying something and someone else talks at the same time, then no one is listening. So sometimes you talk. And sometimes you listen. Get it? Uh-huh. I get it. But they don't. Hmm. Maybe I can explain it to them. Excuse me! Whoopsie. <laughs> Oh, 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 you've got to wait for the pause. Wait. Wait, yeah, yeah, wait for the pause. Wait. You've got to wait and make no sound. Just sit and listen, don't monkey around. You'll get to hear somebody's words, because interrupting's for the birds. You've got to listen to know when to speak. Just take your time, don't open your What to do? Ribbit. No biggie. Oh, that was wonderful! <laughs> and the next time we play school, we'll all take turns being the talker and being the listener. And there will be a next time, because you guys are the greatest students ever! Thank, Thank you, you Miss Sophie! Ribbit. <laughs> We're having a marching band parade. I'm playing the flute. Do you want to join in? Yeah! There are lots of instruments you can play. See? Eddie has a trumpet. Colby made a tin can drum. And I'll play cymbals. Tessa style. Sophie, do you want to say something? I do. But I want to be sure you're done talking before I start talking. I don't want to interrupt. Aw, oh, Sophie, thank you. But I'm done. I can't wait to play in the concert. But first, I'm going to listen for a while. Until it's just the right time to join in. OK. Come on, guys, let's go. <laughs> Mighty Mia here at the Backyard Cup Finals, where Steady Eddie is getting ready for his dinosaur dribble. Uh, roar! And he knocks it out of the park! Now watch me score! Tessa style. Tessa is really playing hardball today. Huh. Whoa! Oopsie. I hope it wasn't too hard. Sorry, Kobe. Are you okay? I'm okay. And so is my remote control. Wow, what's it for? It's to help us find Lucky if he ever gets lost. Kobe! Lucky will never get lost. He hardly moves. <sighs> come and play ball with me. No thanks. Aw, oh, come on. It's so much fun. I want to work on my remote control. But you made that awesome net for us. You have to play. Thanks, but I like making stuff more than playing soccer. But everyone likes to play soccer. Not everyone, Tessa. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to see Lucky play soccer. I'd love to see Lucky do anything. <laughs> oh, Lucky. Oh. <laughs> Hey, we should take Lucky on an adventure! Huh? <laughs> an adventure! He'd love it! Uh, Tessa, I don't think he would. Everyone loves an adventure, Kobe. But Tessa... And what better place for adventure than the high seas? <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> All right. Sounds fun. Come out and play, we're going on an adventure. 
about you today. We're gonna have some fun. Use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure. Exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. speed we're going now. But everyone likes going fast. Not everyone, Tessa. <laughs> I want to turn around and race. But if we turn around, we'll miss that, Tessa. It's the lostest sea monster. Sea, sea monster? monster? Don't worry. She's a friendly monster. Hey, where did she go? I want to meet her. I'm not sure I want to meet her. Of course you do. Everyone likes sea monsters. Whoa! Over. Hello. Are you the lostest monster? What does that mean? Hmm. I think she's trying to say she's not a monster, but she is lost. Should have gone on a land adventure, Lucky. Maybe we should have just stayed home. Are you looking for your pod? Hmm. What's a pod, Cubby? A pod is a family of whales. Oh, would you like us to help you find your pod? Hmm. Sounds like she's singing. Scientific fact. Whales sing. That's how they talk to each other. Good idea, Lucky. Maybe if we all sing, her family will hear us. And we won't have to find them. They'll find us. Four young friends on a sailing ship. Yo ho ho, and we're having some fun. A whale comes along and we start to tip. Yo ho ho, and we're having some fun. One mate likes to tumble and trip. Another likes to rock and dip. And one just glides and slides and slips. I'm not sure about this notion. I don't like this rocking motion. I prefer a calmer ocean. Here you go, Tessa. I made this for you. Ah, <sighs> thanks, Kobe. 
Adventure's how we like to play. Yo ho ho, many ways to have fun. He does not, and that's okay. Yo ho ho, many ways to have fun. Some may like a ride that thrills. Some at sports have lots of skills. And some like to shape and build. So many ways to have some fun. You like to walk, I like to run. All things aren't for everyone. Yo ho ho, many ways to have fun. Adventure's how we like to play. Yo ho ho, many ways to have fun. You may like a different way. There are so many ways to have fun. There they are! It's the Lost Whales family! It worked! They must have heard our song and come to find us. Yay! Work! Woohoo! Bye! Bye-bye, whale! Do you feel better now, Tessa? Yes, thank you. I feel great. But where's Lucky? <gasps> worked! You're so good at making things. Thanks. It's what I like to do. <laughs> that was awesome! Yeah! <laughs> hey, guys. Come see the awesome move that Eddie just invented. Welcome back, sports fans. Steady Eddie heads for the ball. He gives it the old banana kick. <laughs> goes in the air. It bounced off the swing set. The slide, the tree, and... Goal! Yeah! Nice one, Eddie! Amazing! Yeah, that was awesome. Want me to teach you all how to do it? Hmm. How about if everyone does what they like to do best? You teach me the trick, Mia can announce... Mighty Mia is on the mic. Sophie can film, and Kobe can keep score. Perfect! Great! But what about Lucky? Where did he go? Don't worry. I have just the thing to find the lostest puppy. Turn it on. And here we go. Beep boop, ba, beep, bleep boop. Searching, searching. Beep boop, la, boop, beep ba, boop. Beep. There he is doing what he likes to do best. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's play. Awesome. All right. Let's do it. Coming. <laughs> All right, folks. It's the Backyard Trick Show. Yay! Backyard Trick Show. Woohoo! Brum, 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 brum. Faster! Wow. There's a lot going on in the yard today. There's Farmer Eddie. Giddy up, horsey. And there's... <gasps> a bear? It's okay. He's a nice bear. He's just visiting the vegetarian. Hi. I think he means veterinarian. <laughs> <laughs> brum, 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 brum. Mr. Pawpaw needs to see you, Vet Sophie. He has a tummy ache. I'll be right with you. Hey, here comes Vet Ella. She's bringing Lucky home. Hooray, Lucky's home. Sorry, Mr. Papa, I have to go see Lucky. But you stay here and don't move a muscle. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, Lucky, I'm so glad you're back. Are you okay, boy? <laughs> <laughs> Lucky doesn't mind going to the vet. Checkups keep him well, and he always gets a treat. Brum, brum. Vet Sophie, my horse needs his teeth brushed. I'll go after Miss Bear, Mr. Papa, and. and the lizard? Lizard? Oh. I've never seen a lizard before. Ah! 
That's a lizard. Awesome. Amazing. Whoa. Hi, little lizard. <laughs> Come and say hi, Mia. No, thanks. I don't think I like lizards. Why not? He's very nice. He looks all scaly and icky. I like fluffy and furry. He's not icky. Go ahead. Touch him. Ugh, no. We should go on an adventure. Right now. What kind of an adventure? The kind that doesn't have any lizards. Just fluffy and furry animals. Like a farm. Okay, I'll go. Yeah, me too. Okay, here we go. Bye. Have a nice time. Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So, hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Peanut butter sandwich? Another egg! Another egg! Another? <laughs> Bike horn? <laughs> egg! Egg! Soccer ball? Okay, that's enough collecting eggs. It's time to milk the cow. Cow. It's some baby cow. A calf. Aww. What you doing, little calf? Shh, I'm hiding. <laughs> we can still see you. Oh. Why are you hiding? No vet. No vet. You're supposed to see the vet today? Mm-hmm. You don't like the vet? Mm-mm. Catherine! Where are you? <gasps> no vet! No vet! No vet! Uh, uh. I do not think she likes the vet. She doesn't know him. He's coming over to the farm today to give her her very first checkup. Is he a nice vet? Oh, very nice. And Catherine will see that once she meets him. I really must find her before he gets here. Want us to help you look for her? Oh, yes. Thank you. <gasps> hmm. Huh. Oh, we go. <sighs> Catherine! Oh, Catherine! <laughs> in all this corn. <gasps> I know how. Wait here. Whoa. Awesome. If we collect all the yummy ears of corn, 
We'll be able to see where Catherine is. Good idea, Eddie. Broom! Good luck. Please find my baby. I know you're scared, Catherine, but bets are really very nice. Hey, I know a vet who's super nice. Do you want to meet her? Meet her? Uh-huh. We can just go for a visit, and you'll see how nice vets are. Just visit? Just a visit. You come with Catherine? I'll be right by your side. This is the vet's waiting room where the animals wait until she is ready to see them. She helps all kinds of animals. Horses and kitties and lizards. <gasps> lizard! 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 Excuse me, everyone. I'm veterinarian Sophie. Is everything okay? No, vet Sophie. There's a lizard in here. And I do not like lizards. I see. Do you know any lizards? Well, actually, no. Then how do you know you don't like them? Ooh. It's not really fair to decide you don't like someone before you even get to know them. <laughs> You've never met a lizard Before you decide I do not like There are some things to consider Vets keep pets healthy and strong Lizards are gentle and shy They eat frogs so gardens can grow Vets are so helpful and kind Lizards like to lie in the sun Vets can take care of your horse He can run by the she won't bite you, of course. You just never know what someone is like until you get to know them. So take the time to meet them first, and you may find you like them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Are you ready to meet your vet and have your very first checkup? Mm-hmm. Mama! We go home now and see Catherine's vet. We sure will. Thank you all for your wonderful help. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Bye, Marge and Catherine. Bye-bye. Catherine's very own vet will take good care of her. That makes my heart sparkle. Hey, guys! Do you see the lizard anywhere? Uh, let's see, uh, yes, over here. He's on the swing. You're lucky. Here he is, Mia. Shh, Eddie, that sweet little lizard is trying to sleep. Aw, go back to sleep, little guy. Oh, you're not scaly and icky at all, are you? Come on, guys, let's ride. to your square. You let it bounce once, then hit it back to me. Got it? Got it. Here you go. Now you're playing two square Tessa style. Ooh. Hey. Ha! Did you see that? That was so high. Eddie, the rules say the ball has to stay in the square. So you're out, and now it's Kobe's turn. Watch this, Kobe! Huh. Oh. Eddie, it's not your turn anymore. But this is really fun. I know, but we're playing a game now, and those are the rules. <laughs> See 
See what happens when you don't play right, Eddie? Sorry, Lucky. Here we go again. Come on! <sighs> I bet the animals in the jungle don't have to follow rules. Hey, Sophie, want to go on a jungle adventure with me? Um, okay. What do you want to do in the jungle? We can do anything we want there. Come on! Uh, all right. Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. do what they're supposed to do. It's the jungle! Coming through! Ah! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Lunch! <laughs> These cars are so cool! <laughs> Go ahead! Take one for a spin! <laughs> Come on, Sophie! Let's drive! <laughs> are you sure it's okay? It's the jungle, Sophie! Uh, okay. Let's drive. Yeah! Woohoo! This is amazing! Look! An eating, reading, skateboarding monkey! This jungle is awesome! I'm not sure she should be doing all that at the same time. Why not? What could go wrong? <laughs> Monkey. Hi, I'm Eddie, and this is Sophie. Hi. Awesome. You guys want to come and play with me? Yeah. Hey, I know a great place. Oh, you're going to love it. Follow me. Come on, hurry up. <laughs> come on, Sophie. Uh, but what about the car? Don't worry, just leave it. Come on, faster. <laughs> Oh, boy. Wow! A national playground! I think he means natural. That, too! <laughs> Come on! Let's slide! Don't you slide down a slide? Nah, that's the way hippos do it. But we monkeys, we never follow the rules. <laughs> Me neither. I never follow the rules. Um, <laughs> maybe hippos have a reason for following the rules. Come on up, Eddie. There's room for two. Woo! That looks like fun. Woo! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Come on up! <laughs> Woo! Woo <laughs> See what did I tell ya? This is the <gasps> Wait, it? guys, that sign means only one person at a time is allowed on the swing. It's okay. It won't hurt anything. We this Woo! is fun! This bird nest fell. Oh, yeah. I didn't see that. Are the eggs okay? 
Yeah, they're okay. Okay, here we go. So see, swinging together didn't hurt anything. Um, I think it kind of did. Makes the best drinking fountain in the whole jungle. I guess that's why there's such a long line. <laughs> Lines are for elephants. Monkeys have better things to do than wait in line. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. <clears throat> Excuse me, step aside. Meg, you cut in line in front of that baby. <laughs> Sorry, little guy. Uh, you made him cry, Meg. I did? <laughs> Oops. Sorry, but I was thirsty. The rules of good manners say you should wait your turn. But you don't like rules, right? I think maybe I do sometimes. Hey, come on! I want to show you another really cool place! Um... Uh, but it's a really cool place! Let's go! <sighs> hey, follow me! I'm gonna get one of the apples from that tree! Whoop. Nice one! Uh, I know you don't like rules, Eddie, but you shouldn't just climb over a fence. I bet there's a good reason you're not supposed to go in there. Ugh, I know, but... Hurry up, Eddie! These apples are delicious! Mm. The apples are delicious, Sophie! <laughs> <laughs> the big ones are near the top! <laughs> oh, I'm so itchy! Why am I so itchy? <laughs> Me too, I think those flowers might be itchy. Weeds. It's weeds. The we never should have come in here, Meg Monkey. Rules really are there for a reason. Uh, itchy. Rules are there for a reason. They keep us safe and sound. When you're not sure of what to do, they're good to have around. Rules are there for a reason. They help us do what's right. Sometimes it's hard to follow them, but please keep them in sight. Try to pay attention and follow all the signs. Don't go up when it says down and wait your turn in line. You may want to play somewhere, a fence is in your way. Just follow the rules and don't go in and you'll stay safe all day. Rules are there for a reason, they keep us safe and sound. Ready to play again. And I promise, this time I'll play by the rules. There's a line, Eddie. Oh, sorry. Just passing through. I'm after Sophie, right? Yep. Ha. Oh. Hey, guys, what about a new rule? If you're not playing, then you have to cheer really, really loud. Woohoo! Yeah! Yay! What's wrong? Don't you like my new rule? Yeah, I like it. All right. Sounds fun. Me too. Let's cheer! The daredevil pilot swoops around the tall buildings. <laughs> Tessa, wanna pretend you're a building like me? Hmm. Looks fun, but no thanks. Yo, Yo ho, ho, ho. ho. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hee hee hee! A life at sea is the life for me! Whoosh! This is my special sail and soar ship, Tessa. It sails on the water and soars over it. Mine is a sail and sink ship. It sails on top and sinks underneath. I think that's called a submarine? Huh. Big wave, big wave! Whoosh! What you doing, Mia? Shh. Lucky needs his privacy, Tessa. The bush is his potty. Zoom! Oh, oh, oh. Oops. Crash landing. Sorry, guys. Did I ruin your game? Nah. It's okay. We'll just pretend it's a big whale. A whale? Oh, I love whales. Scientific fact, whales sing. Yo ho ho, he he he. A life at sea is the life for me. <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> Ooh, I want to hear some whales sing. Oh, me too. Hey, let's go on a whale adventure to hear them. Yes, a whale adventure. But first, does anybody need to use the bathroom? Mm, nope. I just went. Um. Uh. Do you have to go, Jack? Come on, guys. Hurry! No, it's okay. I don't want to miss this adventure. Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. No whales in sight, Captain Eddie. I see water, water everywhere. Not a drop to drink. Blech. Seawater is too salty to drink. Did you know that you can't drink seawater, Jack? Nope. No seawater. <laughs> Only fresh water. Like water from the sink. <laughs> Yummy. Not salty water. Go, go. Go, go. Go, go. Are you thirsty? Do you want something to drink? No. Thank you. You have to go potty, huh? There's a bathroom over there. Oh, good. Thanks, Mia. I saw a whale spout behind us. Wow. I gotta go look. What about the potty? No time, Mia. I don't want to miss the whale. Hmm. I should have gone to the bathroom. But what if I miss something fun? I know what you mean. Who said that? Me. I'm Wayne. Sometimes I gotta come up for air when I'd rather be playing underwater. Ah, that feels much better. Hi, Wayne. I'm Jack. That's a pretty cool trick. It's not a trick. It's just how my body works. I gotta come up for air sometimes. But when I'm practicing my whale song, I don't want to stop. Whoa, could that be any more cool? What do you think? I think you have to sing for my friends and me. Please? You don't have to ask me twice. I'm performing down below this afternoon. And you're all invited. Down below? Aw, that will work. Our ship doesn't go underwater. Then I'll just have to send a sail and sink ship up to get you. I think that's called a submarine. Huh, 
a submarine. <gasps> His name's Wayne. He's really nice. He's singing a submarine to take us to hear him sing. Whoa! Cool! Jack, I think you have time to ease the potty before he gets here. Oh, yeah. Good idea. Wow! Guys, look! It's here! It's here! Whoa! <laughs> do, 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 do. Hello, friends. I'm your submarine captain. All aboard! <laughs> Woohoo! Cool! You should go. They'll wait. Come on! I can't wait to hear this! Hello! Do, 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 do. Oh, Jack. Ooh, look at all the pretty fish! Hi, fishies! I bet they sing, too. Hmm, I don't know. That sounds a little fishy to me. <laughs> fishy? Daddy. Go, 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 go! Woo! What a great dance! <gasps> Let me try! Let me try! Whee! This is fun! <laughs> There he is! Look, Jack, it's Wayne! Aww. Go, 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 go! This is fun! Captain, Jack is doing the potty dance. That means he has to go. Oh, goodness! Is that what this dance is? Uh-huh. I'm sorry. I didn't realize. It's right over there, Jack. Uh. I can't miss Wayne's whale song. Wayne won't start without you. Right, Wayne? Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Plus, I think Wayne needs to go up and get some air before his song. So why don't you both go? Deal. Didn't miss a thing. Wayne's just about to start. Wow, look at that! Cool! Beautiful! When you need to stop and take a break, don't think that you'll miss out. Good friends know to wait for you, that's what it's all about. Everybody wants the fun to never end But there are times you gotta pause and wait for a friend <gasps> Everybody has something they need to do So tell your friends and they'll be sure to wait for you when you need to stop and take a break, don't think that you'll miss out. You won't! Good friends know to wait for you, that's what it's all about. When you need to stop and take a break, don't think that you'll miss out. You won't! Good friends know to wait for you, that's what it's all about. <gasps> awesome! Yeah! Woohoo! That is Cool. Whoosh! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Woo! Hi, guys. Where have you been? We had a great sea adventure. <sighs> Try land. That's enough water for me for a while. <laughs> <laughs> we rode in a submarine. And we heard an amazing song. We had a whale of a good time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Emma, Sophie, and I are playing desert treasure hunters. Looking for a secret pyramid full of gold and jewels. Want to come along? Sure. Okay. But wait, maybe we should all go and use the bathroom first. Don't worry, fun won't start without us. Great. Good idea, Jack. 
I do have to go. Me too. Me three. Good call. That means you too, Lucky. Don't worry, we'll wait. Good boy. Green light. Whoa! Shh. Shh. Red light. Shh. Don't worry, drowsy doggy. Super Eddie is always ready to save you from a great big snake. Super Eddie wins again. Woo! Yeah! Green light! Red light! Whoa! <laughs> oh. Sorry, Kobe. You moved. You have to go back to the start. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Green light! Red light! Green light! Gotcha! Ah. <laughs> My turn to be the light. Okay. said I couldn't use it. It's okay, guys. Let's just do that one over again. Sorry, Sophie. No time for games. I hear a call for help. I don't hear anything. Nope. That's because you don't have super hearing. It's time for a super ready adventure. Who wants to come? I'll go. Me too. Okay, let's go! Yay! Have fun, guys. <laughs> We're gonna finish our game. Hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have some fun. Use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> hey, where's Eddie? Woohoo! There he is! Greetings, friends! Hey, Super Eddie! I still don't hear anyone calling for help. Help me! Help me! Help me! Help me give away all these fantastic prizes! I told you someone needed help. <laughs> Super Eddie is here to help you. By winning some of your prizes, that is. Perfect! Anyone else? Oh, oh, oh! Me! Me! All righty then. First one to blow up five balloons wins big, big, big! Wow, he's good at this. Ah. I'll just use my super blowing power. <laughs> Ta da! Wow! Excellent! Here you go! Wow, that's a big prize. But, Eddie, the monkeys don't have super blowing power. <coughs> Do you think you should have used yours? No one said I couldn't use it, and it helped me win this cool prize. Here, you can have it. I'm gonna go win some more. Yay! I don't know. 
It doesn't seem fair. You get three chances to knock down one set of bottles and win a small prize. What if I knock them all down in one shot? Then you win a big prize. Now, who wants to play? Just step right up. This will be easy peasy. I'll use my super throwing power. Ah! We have a winner. Yes, I'll go again. Whoa, you win again. Woohoo! Again! Uh, Eddie, you should let the monkey try now. Oh, uh, okay. After this turn. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Awesome! Let's go play something else. Um, I'm gonna stay here, Eddie. I want to watch the monkey play. Oh, okay. I'll stay too. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Great job! Why is everyone cheering? I hit the bottles every time. Well, it's not so easy peasy to do when you don't use superpowers. Oh, yeah. I guess that's true. Be the first to hit the bell and win a prize. Hit it on your first try and win a super duper prize. Watch my super duper smashing power win that super duper prize. Wow, that was... Super duper? <laughs> yes. I want to try next. All righty then. Ring that bell. <laughs> yeah! Huh? The bell didn't ring. It took you two tries, and you did it, young lady. Good job. Want to trade prizes, Mia? I already have a bunch of them. No, thanks. I won this prize all by myself. You could have won a super duper prize if you had used your super princess magic power. I know, but that wouldn't have been fair to the other player. <laughs> oh, yeah. I guess I wasn't really playing fair when I used my superpowers. Nope. It's fun to win, but don't you want to know if you could win without using superpowers? Yeah. I'm going to try everything again, Mia. Only this time, I'm going to play fair. Playing is fun when playing is fair and everyone has a chance to try their best. <laughs> Great job. Hey, wait. Aren't you going to take these prizes, young man? No, thanks. I like the one that I earned. You guys can have them. <laughs> <laughs> I want the banana. <laughs> hey, guys. Can we play, too? 
You can, but no more Super Eddie. Don't worry. I'm done with Super Eddie for today. Regular Eddie will use the power of fairness to put the scooter away. Okay, then. This time, we can all pretend that we're driving real cars. Yeah, that's fair, because we'll all be driving cars, not just one of us. Let's do <laughs> it! Yay! I'm a police car. Wee -hoo, wee -hoo, wee -hoo. I'm a race car. Vroom, vroom! I'm an old car. <laughs> nice one, Eddie. <laughs> Green light. Wee 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 Uh, you're a rocket. I think a pterodactyl. Mia, come and guess what Kobe is. No thanks. I'm going to put on a play about a beautiful, perfect, princessy princess. Okay, have fun. Oh, I know. You're an airplane. My turn now. Kobe. Can you pretty princess please watch my most favorite princess outfit? I need to find some other stuff for my play. Sure, Mia. I promise. Thanks, Kobe. <laughs> a pogo stick. A frog. A bouncing ball. A trampoline. Oh, what an M amazing outfit. So sparkly and shiny. Wait, I know. You're a kangaroo. Right. Your turn again, Kobe. Um, that's okay. I already had a turn. Besides, I promised to watch Mia's princess outfit. Uh-oh. You go next, Sophie. Sure. I have to find something. Hmm. I am the Emma amazing princess Emma! Emma? Those are Mia's things. It's okay. Mia's my friend. She won't mind if I borrow them just for a little while. But I promise... I'll be a princess, and you be my brave knight. Me? A knight? Let's go on a fairy tale and adventure, Kobe. Yeah, I would be an amazing knight. Uh, Kobe, didn't you promise to watch me as outfit for her? Oh, yes, but I will be watching it on Emma. Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. <laughs> Jack! My princess outfit is gone! Uh, Kobe let Emma take your outfit to Fairy Tale Land. What? Come on, we have to get it back. Your royal carriage awaits, Your Highness. Uh, oh dear. That is not Princess Mia. Stay calm, Humpty. Uh, welcome, Princess. Um, um. Emma. Princess Emma. As a royal guard, I have promised to care for every princess in the realm. And a promise is a promise. Yay! I should take Emma back. Mia's gonna need her princess outfit for her play. This is for you, Royal Knight. Wow. Cool. To the castle. Lead the way. <sighs> oh, there goes my princess outfit. So much for Kobe's promise. Please step aside, Mr. Dragon, and open the gates. Sorry. 
Rules say that I must keep the castle safe for the princess. I am a princess. Can you open the gates? <laughs> oh, really? I know she's not Princess Mia, but she is a princess. Oh. oh. <gasps> Please come in, Princess. Uh, um. Emma. Oh, this is Emma amazing. Oh. <sighs> Oh, isn't it wonderful? We have a new princess. We simply must have a party to celebrate. This is all really great, Emma, but I think we should go home now. Hear ye, hear ye! Today there will be a celebration for Princess... Uh, hmm. Emma. Emma! With a special show by her royal knight. Did you hear that, Kobe? You're gonna put on a show. Yeah, I heard. I better try to find Mia and tell her what I've done. Ugh. Sorry, but I can't let you in. This entrance is for princesses only. But I am a princess. I just don't have my princess outfit on. No outfit, no entry. That's the rule. But I need to get in so I can get my outfit. <laughs> ah. uh, oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> Good try, you two. But I am a dragon. You can't get past me. However, you might get around me by going through the tower window. Oh. Thank you, Mr. Dragon. <laughs> There's my things. We have to get up there, Jack. Maybe these will help. Are those magic beans? Yes, they are. They're magic, all right. Ooh, I love fairy tale land. Looking for someone? Yes. Princess Mia, perhaps? Yes. I have to tell her that I made a big mistake. I made a promise, and I didn't keep it. Do you know where she is? Follow me. <laughs> Almost got it. Whoa! Whoa! Mia, Jack, are you okay? Yeah, we're okay. <laughs> what are you doing here? I want to tell you I'm sorry, Mia. You trusted me to watch your things, and I let Emma borrow them. I broke my promise. I'm really sorry. Really? Really. And now I promise I'll get them back for you. How? I'll ask Emma to give them back. I know she will. Hmm. Okay. Thank you, Kobe. Uh -uh. Sorry. But Humpty and Ginger won't let anyone talk to Princess Emma until after the show. Ugh, oh, I promised I'd get Mia's things for her, and I will, one way or another. Here's what we do. <clears throat> and today, we are here to celebrate Princess... Uh, oh. Emma. Emma! Let the celebration begin! When you make a promise, you give your word. But let's be honest, sometimes it's very hard to keep a promise and follow through with what you say that you're going to do. But a promise is a promise, it's a promise to be true. It's important to be honest and do what you say you'll do. When you make a promise, that promise is real. So follow through, cause a deal is a deal. Keep your promise, just be true. And always do what you say you'll do. Cause a promise is a promise, it's a promise to be true. It's important to be honest and do what you say you'll do. Mia? What's going on? Why did 
the dragon give you the tiara and wand? Because they're my tiara and wand. Wait, guys, this is all my fault. I promised Mia I would watch her princess outfit while she got more stuff for her princess play. What? I didn't know you were going to do the play today. I am sorry. I'm the one who's sorry, Emma. I should have said something. And I'm sorry, Mia. You trusted me, and I broke my promise. Thank you for saying you're sorry, Colby. And don't worry, Emma. We can both be princesses today. That's am amazing! Yay! Two princesses! Hey! <laughs> Yay! So happy day! Happy, happy day! A duck? He's a dragon, of course. How was your adventure, guys? Great! I was a princess! I got to climb a magic beanstalk. I learned how important it is to keep a promise. And I got lots of great ideas for my princess play. Who wants to be in it? I do! Sounds fun! I want to be in it. Kobe will be the royal knight and watch over us all. Right, Kobe? Yep. I promise. I'm a Ooh. dragon! I want to be fairy. teaching everyone the dance I learned in dance class yesterday. No thanks. I'm working on my sandcastle today. It's gonna be great. Okay. First you hop from one foot to the other and back again. This, this is fun! <laughs> <laughs> now clap while you're hopping. Two down low, two up high, then four side to side. Uh, how does that go again, Tessa? Now hands on hips and shake, shake, shake. Ugh. Slow down, Tessa. No need to go slow, Mia. This is easy peasy. Now put one hand up and take two steps forward. Put your hand down and take two steps back and jump! Ugh. Ugh. Bye. Okay, now the whole thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and jump! Ugh. Ugh. Tessa style! Ugh. Hey, where did everybody go? <laughs> your dance is kind of hard, Tessa. Woohoo! And you're going pretty fast. It's not that hard. Anyone can do it. It's hard for us. Maybe we can learn the rest of it tomorrow? Woo! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> but we were having so much fun. Well, at least I can teach you the rest of the dance, Kobe. Um, yeah. Okay, but I think I need a little break first. Hey, guys! We're all done dancing for today. We're going on an adventure. Want to come along? Yes! No! But we're going to the jungle. It's going to be fun. You and I can dance some more when we get back, Tessa. We all can. Right, guys? Sure. Okay, I'll come. Yay! Take it too! Flamingo. Try it. It's easy. Almost. <laughs> oh, we hop in dance class too. Ribbit, 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 ribbit
Yeah! <laughs> Andy Beaver! <laughs> hey, Andy! Hello, folks! Looks like you're having a hopping good time today. <laughs> yep! Uh huh! How'd you like to help me move some logs? <laughs> it's fun once you get the hang of it. Sure, easy peasy. Huh. That's not easy peasy. It is for me. Woohoo! Look at her go! She's a natural. Ha! Yay! Scientific fact: log rolling is all about balance. Zigga zigga do. Nice. Cool. Hmm. Huh. Okay, you can do this, Tessa. <sighs> Some folks get the hang of it right away, and for other folks, it takes a while. Want to try again? No, thank you. Welcome, Mrs. Ostrich. Are you trying to move your egg to a safe place? Yes, but it's hard getting it up the hill. Well, I can help you with that. Easy peasy. See? Easy peasy. Tessa, wait. That egg is ginormous. Don't worry. I can't. Whoops. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Stop it. Come on. that hard. I love to run fast. Running fast is easy for Eddie, but it's not so easy for me. Dancing is easy for me. Maybe it's not so easy for Eddie. Hmm. Maybe. My coffee! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Didn't mean to scare you. No problem. I'm just trying to make a seesaw. But it's not as easy as I thought it would be. Let me help. Uh, huh? There. Easy peasy. Let's try it. I'm on it. Uh, <laughs> Scientific fact. Monkeys can't fly. I'm okay. <laughs> this should do it. Let's try that again. Hmm. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! Still okay! <laughs> I thought building a seesaw would be easy peasy, but it's not. It's okay, Tessa. Why don't we try it again? Woohoo! Check out this awesome seesaw that Kobe built! Oh, ah, ah! Great job, Kobe! Thanks. How did you do that, Kobe? It really wasn't that hard. You just have to balance the board on the rock just right. Want me to show you how to do it? Do you think I could learn? Sure. Thanks, Kobe. Making stuff is easy for you. Just like dancing is easy for you. But maybe with a little patience, we, we can, can both, both learn something new. We're different from each other. We do well at different things. Some of us can sing and dance. Some go high on swings. Some run fast and some run slow. And now I think you see. For you, what's easy peasy may be kind of hard for me. 
Please take the time to teach us. Please be patient and go slow. We'd like to try the things you do, but we don't always know how to do them easy peasy. Help us learn and help us grow. Please take the time to teach us. Please be patient and go slow. We'd like to try the things you do, but we don't always know how to do them easy, easy. Help us learn and help us grow. Thanks, guys, for being patient and for teaching me to build a seesaw. Oh, it was just science. But you're welcome. That was fun! Yeah! <laughs> welcome back, guys. I finished my sandcastle. Come and see it. Wow. It's awesome, Sophie. You're very good at building, Sophie. So is Kobe. Kobe built a perfect seesaw today. Cool. And now that my sandcastle is done, I'm ready to learn your dance, Tessa. Okay. Anyone else want to learn? Um, maybe we could. I promise. I'll be patient and go nice and slow. Okay. Sure. Let's learn it. Okay. We'll do it nice and slow. First, you hop from one foot to the other and back again. I'm kidding you. Thanks for going slow, Tessa. Okay, that's it. No, a tiny bit to the left. Perfect. Okay, now that we're all in place, let's have fun. <sighs> huh? Ugh. Now, Eddie, kick it to Eddie. <sighs> now you kick it to Mia. Ah. And I'll kick it to the moon. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I got it! Kick it to me! No, that's not right. Mia's supposed to kick the ball to me. Then I kick it to Kobe. And we're supposed to all stay in a circle. <gasps> what is that? There's a tractor coming. It's Farmer Jed. Hello? I know. He must be going to the farmer's market today. Scientific fact. A farmer can grow all kinds of yummy vegetables on a farm. Farming is a lot of hard work. Yeah, but you can have fun on a farm, too. One time, I went on a hayride. You rode hay? Well, kind of. You sit in a wagon full of hay, and a tractor pulls you around. Cool, I'd love to go on a hayride. Me, too. Me, too. Yeah, then let's do it. I'll drive the tractor. Yeehaw! A farm adventure! Woohoo! Yeehaw! some fun. Use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun.
that's Marge the cow. She's just saying hello. Let's say hello back. Cow style. Moo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, what animal is that, Farmer Eddie? That's no animal. That's thunder. And thunder means rain. Not today it doesn't. Today we're going on a hayride. Let's go! Uh-oh. I felt a drop. No, it can't rain. Ugh. Uh. I think it is. You guys better get into the barn. I'll take the tractor behind the barn where it's dry. To the barn! Come on! Hurry! Wait! Maybe it won't rain that hard. Maybe it's just... Whoa! Wow! Look at it! It's really raining! Glad we're not out there. <laughs> Don't worry, Mrs. Hen. We'll play on the other side of the barn. This is cool. It's not cool. It's just stuck in a barn with nothing to do. Our plan was to go on a hayride. Guess we have to change our plan. But the hayride was going to be so fun. What's fun in a barn? Cool! This hat is just like the one you put on the snowman last winter. We should build another snowman. Snowman? There's no snow for a snowman, Kobe. There may be no snow, but there's hay for a hayman. Awesome! Great idea, Kobe. Yeah, great idea. A hayman? It might be cool if he has some boots. Yes! He's a cowboy hayman. Yeah! Awesome! He does look pretty good. Yeah! Hey, do you know how to say hello to a hayman? Hayman! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Eddie. That was fun. Yeah, but... It's not what we planned. And that rain is never gonna stop. <sighs> Neither am I! Look out! <laughs> that was awesome! I wanna try it. Sure, Mia. <laughs> well done. Here you go. Okay.
our day so real danger. Let's kick up some dust. <laughs> you made the plan, you can exchange it. You can take your plan and change it. It's your day so rearrange it. Go on and have fun. to grow. The animals love it, too. Uh. <laughs> I'm so happy we got our hayride. But playing in the barn was really great, too. We did some things we've never done before. <laughs> like dancing with baby chicks. Let's kick your soccer ball around some more. Okay, but we don't have to stand in a circle. Let's try doing it a different way. I think we still need a ball, though. Where is it? Oh, Lucky has it. I'll get it. That's okay. Don't wake him. We'll just have to change our plans. So what do you want to do? Hmm. Let's see. Maybe. Maybe what? Maybe tag. Hey. You're it. Can't catch me. Right, come. Right. Oh. Yay. If I throw three bean bags into the bucket, I'm in the game, right? Right. Only one more to go. Okay. Here we go. One more. One more. Hurry and throw at Mia. I'm next. <sighs> Now I have to start all over again. One more. One more. Uh. Rats, I almost did it. My turn! Ah, <clears throat> uh, Philly. Uh, Emma? Maybe if you slow down, you won't keep missing. I like to take careful aim. Oh! Huh? <laughs> Oops, sorry. Hey, guys. It's mail carrier Ethan. He's making a delivery. Being a mail carrier looks like so much fun. Yeah, everybody's so happy when they get a package or letter. I'd love to be a mail carrier. Let's go on a mail carrier adventure. Let's go. Okay. Woohoo! Tigger, tigger, do. Uh.
This says we have four deliveries to make today. Ooh, I can't wait to get started. But where's Emma? Come on, guys, I'm ready to roll. <gasps> Here comes a mail truck, Bernard. This is the place. Our first delivery. Hi, y'all. I'm so glad you're here. I told Bernard we can't go to the Spring Fling Winger thing until my package arrives. Spring Fling Winger, what, what? Spring Fling Winger ding. There's games and egg decorating, and everyone is invited. That sounds Emma amazing. Y'all should come. It's going to start real soon. All right. Yes, yeah. We better hurry and get these packages delivered so we can go. We do get some spring showers now and then. That's why I ordered an umbrella to take along this year. Um, these look like the flowers in your meadow. This must be your package. Huh. There you go. Come on, guys. Go, go, go. See you at the spring fling wing a ding. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And thank you. Now, let's see our new umbrella. Oh, my. This isn't what I ordered. Oh. Package for Mr. Frog and Joyce. See you at the Spring Fling Wing a Ding. Bye bye. But, Emma, shouldn't we slow down and make sure that the package is. No time! The fling is gonna start real soon. Close the doors. Bye. Thank you. Daddy, that's not what we ordered. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> Woohoo! Yes! Oh, this is Emma amazing. Um, Emma, are you sure we delivered all of our packages? Hmm. Kobe's right. We still have one more package to deliver. But we're here now. <laughs> Let's just enjoy the fun. We can deliver that package later. <laughs> Sorry your hats weren't delivered. I didn't get mine either. An umbrella instead of a hat? Oh, dear. And instead of an umbrella, I got this hat. I'm afraid you're not the only one who had problems with a delivery today. <clears throat> hey, folks. I know it's about time for our annual egg decorating event, but, well, I'm afraid the eggs were never delivered. Oh, my. Instead, I got these flower crowns. Oh, Phooey. I think I delivered the wrong things to everyone. I should have slowed down and been more careful. Emma, the eggs must be in this last package. Of course, the one we didn't deliver. I was in such a hurry to get here that I made a bunch of mistakes. But now I'm going to make things right. Here are your eggs, Mr. Beaver. And these belong to you. <laughs> and this is yours. Sorry I gave you all the wrong packages. From now on, I'm going to try to be more patient and careful. Well, thank you for apologizing. And now that we have the eggs, let's start decorating. Being patient and taking it slow is 
isn't always easy to do. Sometimes it's better to walk than to run. You'll make less mistakes and you'll still have fun. It's best to slow down, so from now on I'll be patient and take my time. Slow down, take your time. Being patient and taking it slow isn't always easy to do. Sometimes it's better to walk than to run. You'll make less mistakes and you'll still have fun. Gather round, folks. Now that the eggs are all decorated, it's time for the sensational spring fling wing a ding spoon and egg race. Yay! All right. On your mark, get set. Wait, aren't you going to do the egg race, Emma? Oh no, she was so busy helping everyone else, she didn't have time to decorate one for herself. It's okay. I can wait until next time, now that I know how to slow down and be patient. Or you could just use this extra one that I made. Oh, thank you, Andy. It's beautiful. All right. Ready, set, go! Yeah! <laughs> Tinga too! Hey guys! Did you have fun? Yes! It was an amazing! <laughs> <laughs> I just have to get one more bean bag in the bucket and I win! Then we can start a new game and we can all play! I can hurry! No, don't! It's better to slow down and do it right! But Emma, don't you want to play? Sure, but I can be patient. It's not easy, but I can do it. Okay, here I go. Nice and slow. Yes! Yay! Yay! Go, you Eddie! Did it, Eddie! Nice and slow. <laughs> but Lucky is the expert at doing things nice and slow. Yes, he is. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. My new camera's first picture. Uh, and it's second. And it's third. Oh, you look so cute, Lucky. See? <laughs> Hello. 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 <gasps> Whoa! Got it. Huh? This'll look great in my big photo scrapbook. Thanks, Mia. Sophie, wait, I wasn't ready. That's not what a princess is supposed to look like. Huh. Woo! Smile, guys. Huh. Ooh. Got it. Check it out. You took my picture? Here, Eddie, I'll help you up. <sighs> Thanks, Tessa. Whoa! Whoa! Wow, another great shot. Thanks, Tessa. Sophie, you should ask before you take someone's photo. <laughs> oh, right there. <laughs> Did you just take a picture? Yep. I got a great shot of the animals. Sophie, why did you do that? I'm going to have a special page in my scrapbook just for animal photos. You're putting it in your scrapbook? Okay. Princess Mia's ready for her close-up now, Sophie. In a minute, Mia. I want to get a shot of the zebra first. You can get a shot of both of us. Okay. Cheese! Wait. Why don't we go to the jungle instead? I can take photos of lots of animals there. Posing with me! Yay! Yes! A photo safari adventure! Cool! 
want to come, Kobe? Uh, no thanks. Okay. Catch you later. <sighs> Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So, hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Sophie? Okay. Let me see. There are so many pretty things here. Thank you. Can I see? Like that beautiful butterfly. Come on, let's get a picture. Wait, let me see my picture. <sighs> Aww. He got away. Oh, the beautiful butterfly went bye-bye. But you can get a picture of the beautiful me! As a beautiful, mighty jungle princess! Grrr. Shh! There's a lion in the tree! This is gonna be a great picture! Hey! Ah! Hi! Whoa! Orville here! Huh? All I got was you and a tail! Oh, wow. I look good. You do look good, Orville. But I'm trying to take a picture of the lion right now. Please ask before you pop into my picture. Oh, yeah, right. Sorry. Huh? <sighs> Wait, don't go. I just want one picture. <sighs> don't worry. There are lots of lions around here. You'll find another one. Wait, no! Or you could just take another picture of me. What in the name of Splishy Splashes is that? Oh, ah! how cute! A baby taking a shower. Oh. Hi again. Well You know, I was thinking, that first picture of me, it wasn't so good. Well, now you have another one. Yes, but I wanted a picture of the elephant. Please ask before you jump in front of the camera, okay? I want to take pictures of other things, too. That's my cue. I'm ready when you are. You mean like that butterfly over there? <gasps> The beautiful Bye Bye Butterfly. It's the perfect shot. Jeez! Oh, no! <sighs> well, it was a perfect shot. Shh! This picture is gonna be awesome. It'd be even oh. more awesome if I put them on top of my head. Butterfly, no! Please come back! Gotta take the picture before it's gone! Wow! <gasps> <laughs> well, you didn't get the butterfly's picture, but this one is pretty awesome! <gasps> the camera wasn't supposed to take my picture! I look like... like... <laughs> like me? Huh? When you took that picture of me in the backyard, without asking. Oh, 
Yeah. That didn't make me happy, Sophie. But I thought you liked getting your picture taken. I do. Most of the time. But not all the time. You have to ask first. You're right, Mia. I'm sorry. I'll make it up to you. Come on! When there's something that you want to do, make sure your friends don't mind. Asking for permission shows you care and that you're kind. And when all your friends are having fun, you want to join in too. Ask them first because that is the thoughtful thing to do. Okay? Wait! Okay, I'm ready. Shoot! What do you think? I love it! It's good! But... Do you know what it could really use? An, An ostrich. ostrich! Exactly! <laughs> <laughs> could you please take a picture of me now? Sure, thank you for asking. And can the lovely princess be in it too? Absolutely. And you too? Of course. It's a super Sophie selfie. Yeah, strike a pose. Say cheese. Cheese. We're back. She's got a camera. No, quick, hide. The photos, the photos. I don't want her to take any more of me. Don't worry. I promise I'll ask before taking any more pictures. Really? Uh-huh. Really. But I would like to have everyone's picture for my scrapbook. So may I take your pictures, please? OK. Sure. Let's do this. Let's all post together. Yeah, even Lucky. Oh. Sophie, you should be in the picture too. Yeah, come on, Sophie. Yeah, great idea. Scientific fact, most cameras have a timer that gives you time to join the picture. Oh, you're right, Kobe. Three, two, one. Zebras like to run through the jungle grass. Clip clop, clip clop, clip clop, clip clop. Ah! Dinosaurs like it too! Stomp, stomp, stomp! There are no dinosaurs in the jungle, Eddie. There are in this jungle. Stomp, 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 stomp! Would your dinosaur like to smell my flowers? Sure. Ah, <sighs> dinosaurs love fl Eddie, cover your mouth, please. Sorry. I... I... Shoo! Eddie! You should cover your mouth when you sneeze. You could spread germs. I think you need a tissue. Thanks. So... So... so, so. Use, Use the, the tissue! tissue. Oh, sorry. Why are you sneezing so much? I have owl germies that make me sneeze sometimes. I think you mean allergies? What's that? Scientific fact. Some allergies make you sneeze in the springtime. Yep, I have those. <laughs> Oops, I forgot. It's good manners to use a tissue, Eddie. Please try to remember. Come on, Sophie. Throw the frisbee. Ha! I want to play, too. Me, too. 
What's so good about good manners anyway? I bet dinosaurs don't have to remember their m <laughs> See? You don't care that I didn't use a tissue? I bet none of the animals in the jungle would care. I'm going to go to the jungle where I can sneeze all day, and no one will tell me to cover my mouth. Huh. Good guy. Play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have some fun. Use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Use our imagination You can be anyone In any situation Hey, hey, come out and play We're going on an adventure Today Woo-choo! <clears throat> Woo-hoo! Hey, who did that? Was that you, Mr. Parrot? <laughs> it was you. Cool. My turn. <laughs> Whoa! That was really loud. The Duke is always really loud. The Duke? Duke Trunks here, at your service. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you, Duke. What's your name? I'm Eddie. I'm Eddie. Oh, I like that name. Uh, no, that's not my name. Woohoo! That was a good one, I'm Eddie. Oh, wasn't that a good one, huh? Oh, no, 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 no. No need for that. I never cover my mouth when I sneeze. I have the loudest sneeze in the land, and I want to be sure everyone can hear it. <laughs> I can tell we have a lot in common, I'm Eddie. Would you like to have lunch with me? I'd... Oh, of course you would. Who wouldn't? <laughs> Let's go! Uh, thank you? <laughs> There's my table. I have lunch here every day. A table always becomes available the moment I walk in. <laughs> uh, always? Always. <laughs> Hmm. I'll take, uh, mm, one of everything. <laughs> Don't forget to say please. Pronto! Right! Uh, please. Oh, time to eat! Time to eat! <laughs> the Duke can be a bit hard to eat with. Time to eat! 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 <laughs> His manners are a little... Uh, well... <laughs> he has no manners. Excuse me, Duke. Maybe you should speak a little more quietly. We don't want to bother the other customers. Oh! <laughs> You're funny, I met Eddie. Come on, join in! Time to eat! Time to eat! Time to eat! Time to eat! <laughs> You're gonna need this. Uh, thank you? Um, excuse me, but could you maybe please chew... <laughs> With your mouth closed? <laughs> 
Shouldn't you say, excuse me? Now, why would I say a thing like that? Because, well, I think you're being rude. Uh, rude? Yes. I thought it would be cool to forget about manners for a while, but it's not. Uh, what do you mean, Mr. Imedi? My name is Eddie. And I mean that it's not cool to have no manners. Manners? Uh... Having good manners means thinking of others and being polite. No, oh, that's completely... <laughs> you don't think I... Wait, what? Really? Well, uh, yeah. Oh, thank you. No one has ever told me why I need to have good manners before. No one? No! So you see, I didn't know that I was being rude and making others feel uncomfortable. I apologize, everyone. Oh, I'm truly sorry. Can you forgive me? Of course we forgive you, Duke. Oh, good. And from now on, I would like you to tell me when my manners are slipping. Please. <laughs> they could be so easy to forget. You're right. Sometimes when I'm with my friends, I forget my manners too. Excuse me. I'm going to go apologize right now. No, wait! Please don't go yet, Eddie. I need help remembering my manners. Well, okay. I guess we both could use a little help. Saying thanks, saying please, cover your nose when you sneeze. Don't be rude and make a splatter. Manners matter. Close your mouth when you chew, cause it's the polite thing to do. A mouth that's full should not chatter. Manners matter. Manners matter! It's not the way to go. Listen up, wait your turn. Don't interrupt, it's easy to learn. And if you burp, say, excuse me. It can happen, as you can see. No one's perfect, so just remember. Manners matter. Manners matter. <laughs> Why, thank you. Oh, allow me to serve. <laughs> Everyone, have a slice. Oh, have a slice, please. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Wow. Can't wait. Woohoo! Hey, guys, just in time. There you are, Eddie. Oh, careful. The flowers might make you sneeze. Don't worry. If they do, I'll cover my mouth with this. And I'm sorry I didn't do it before. Before. Be Oof. Excuse me. Now I know that manners matter for everyone. <laughs> Even lucky. Aw, oh, here you go. <laughs> ribbon, ribbon, ribbon. <laughs> you look perfect. And so do you. And, ooh, you look thirsty. Tessa, hurry! Coming through. Thirsty flowers. Careful, Tessa. Maybe you should... <laughs> Tessa, look out! You're gonna... <gasps> oh! <gasps> Our cars are all muddy. Sorry. Didn't you hear me, Tessa? I yelled, look out! I don't think she did. You should yell louder, Kobe. Like me! <laughs> I don't think anyone can yell that loud, Eddie. I'll help. Thanks, Kobe. You're like a giant car wash for little cars. I am a car wash. Clink, clink, 
bleep, bloop, splish, splash. <laughs> car washes are cool. Hey, we should go on a car wash adventure and wash some big cars. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Woohoo! Okay, just let me finish this. Hurry up, Kobe. Car wash adventure. Hey, hey wait for me. Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So, hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. special today. Three cups of soap to make your van sparkle. Plus, a squirt of new car smell air freshener. Oh, fragrant joy. We call it the Super Soapy Sudsy Special. Oh, my yes. We'll take it. One, two, three. And one more for that extra special shine. I think that's too much soap, don't you? And up we go! Cool scrub brushes. Let's turn them up and get this car really clean. Tessa, I don't think you should. I don't think that's how it was supposed to work. See ya. Welcome to the car wash. You look like you need the super-duper tuxedo treatment today. Uh, no, thank you. We'll have the royal treatment, please. <gasps> For his royal highness, King Mouse. Greetings, loyal subjects. Hello. How do you do? I would like my car to be the cleanest in the kingdom. Don't worry, Your Highness. We'll use five whole cups of soap. No, Sophie. Five cups are way too many. Only five? Make it six. I want the really royal treatment. Then you get two squirts of new car smell. Mmm, delicious. I'll take three. Mm. This way, Your Majesty. Is there a top for the king's car? It's always open, so he can wave to his subjects. Hello! <laughs> Hello. Going up! Wait! That car can't go through the car wash. It has no roof. Hello! One really royal car wash coming right up. Right this way, Your Majesty. Guys, listen! The car wash! <gasps> Hobie's right! We need to listen to the car wash! Let's turn it up! <laughs> <laughs> now that's the sound of clean! That's not what I meant! Why won't anyone listen to me? <laughs> oh no! Oh dear! That doesn't sound like the sound of clean. More like the sound of trouble. <laughs> oh boy. <gasps> oh dear. Are you okay, Your Majesty? Is everyone all right? 
Now that was a really royal treatment. Wonderful car wash. But, Your Highness, your car is even dirtier than before. Huh? Oh, my. This is not a wonderful car wash after all. We must leave and find another one at once. They're stuck. We have to get them unstuck. And clean their car the right way. And make them smell good again. Okay, then. Let's do it. Let's go. <sighs> I wish they would have listened to me. Oh, dear. Come on, guys. Let's do it. This ought to work. Oh, I got this. Well, this is good. Let's use this. Let's go. Yeah. How about some rope? Here, try the slider. Great idea! Stop! May I please talk now? I think I know how we can fix this. Great! Tell, Tell us, Toby! Tell us, Toby! Come on! Shh! I need you to really listen, okay? We always listen. But we didn't. Colby tried to tell you not to turn the car wash up so high and not to put in so much soap, and not to let the car go in when it had no top. Hmm. That's right. You did try to tell us those things, Kobe. We just got so excited about running the car wash that we forgot to listen. We're sorry. Yeah. We're ready to listen now. Thank you. So what do we do? Don't ask him. Ask me. I'm the king. I know everything. I'll get us out. Hand me that tool thingy. <coughs> you were saying. Thank you. When something happens that bothers you and you're not sure of what to do, listen to everyone, make a choice. You might just choose the quiet voice, so try to listen and learn. Some folks are loud, some even shout, and some are quiet like me. So listen and learn from all your friends, you'll learn a lot, you'll see. Good job, everyone! I love this! Yeah! Woohoo! I'll help! Some folks are loud, some even shout, and some are quiet like me. So listen and learn from all your friends, you'll learn a lot, you'll see. You'll learn a lot, you'll see. Woohoo! We did it! <laughs> for fixing our mess and reminding us to listen. So, what should we play now? Let's take a spaceship to the moon. I want to play princess. We should all be dinosaurs. Roar! I want to play tag. Excuse me, I have an idea. Oops, we're, we're listening. listening. Why don't you guys pretend that you're dinosaurs who took a rocket to the moon where Moon Princess Mia asked you to come and play Moon Tag with her. Yeah! yeah. Oh, yeah. What about you, Kobe? Are you a dinosaur too? Nope. I'm it, so you better run. I'm Whoa. coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> run! Whee! <laughs> Woohoo, that's seven! Huh. Yes, that's eight! It's hot today, and so am I. Huh. Tessa does it again! Ding, ding, time's up. Nine in a row. A new beanbag through the tire swing record. What's my trophy this time, Kobe? You already won the sheriff's badge for jumping the longest without getting tired. 
and a magic magician's wand for thinking up the most animals that begin with M. Hmm, how about a rubber duck? A trophy's a trophy, and I love trophies. Awesome! Thanks, Eddie. <laughs> no, not you. That airplane up there. I mean, you're awesome too, but how super cool would it be to fly an airplane? Cool? I wish I was cool. In fact, it's so hot. I wish I was cold. I'm hot too, Mia, from all that winning. Maybe we should go to Snow Globia today. That's a great idea. It's always cold there. Do you think they have any trophies to win there? We'll find out. Yay! Hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have some fun. Use our imagination. You can be Trophies. She really, really loves trophies. And I was just wondering if there are any contests happening today. You're in luck. Snow Globia's super spectacular ice skating competition is this afternoon. And their trophies are awesome. I love ice skating. I'm going to enter. Great. Everyone goes. Oh, hello. Hi. <laughs> are you going? Goodness, no. Winning a trophy is lots of fun, but my baby egg is number one. I have to keep it warm till it hatches. Aw, there's a baby in there. Where's Mama? Oh, she went on a little fishing trip. Fishing trip? It's the penguin version of grocery shopping. She should be back soon. <gasps> oh, my. Oh, dear. Please come back soon, Mama. Very, very soon. We know someone who can help get Mama Penguin home really fast. We do? I'll be right back. <gasps> oh, I can't wait to go to the ice skating contest. I'll do all my best moves. Tessa style. Hey, it's Pilot Eddie. can find Mama Penguin and bring her back in time to see the baby hatch. You'll have to come with us to show us where to look for her. Of course. <gasps> but wait, I can't go. I have to keep the egg warm. And it might break if I try to bring it with me. You have to come. How else will we know which penguin is your wife? Oh, right. We penguins all wear the same outfit, don't we? <laughs> Unless you could stay here and watch it for me. But the contest, I... I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. You're so kind. Huh. Oh. Ah. Okay, gently. That's it. Perfect. Phew. Hurry back. We'll be back before you can say Snow Globia Spooper Spectacular, uh, you know, the ice skating thingy. Okay, bye. Whoa! Phew. I wish someone else had volunteered. Wow! So this.
This is what flying's like. But you're a bird. Don't you fly all the time? Not in the air. We penguins fly underwater. <gasps> there! I see her! There's Mama! and the three bears? Probably not, cause you've never been out of your egg. Okay, this is how it goes. I see Tessa. And, and our, our baby. baby? No, no baby yet. But Tessa and your egg are on the other side of this hill. Oh, can we stop here? But why? We're almost there. <laughs> it's a penguin thing. Ah, said Goldilocks. This chair is just right. But then... <gasps> oh, no! Please! Don't hatch yet! Just a teensy bit longer! I'm sure your mommy and daddy will be here very, very soon! Wait, little baby, take your time. And listen while I sing you a patient rhyme. If you have to stay but you want to go, then waiting isn't easy, yes, I know. Mommy and Daddy will be right back. So please sit still so you're So glad we made it back in time. Oh, and you have to get to Snow Globia's super spectacular ice skating competition. Right, I better go. Whee! Oh, shh, shh. okay. Oh, it's happening. <gasps> All. Being here for this moment is the best gift a mama could get. Oh, Tessa, I am so sorry you missed the competition. They do award the most awesome trophies. It's okay. Winning trophies is fun, but giving that up to help you feels pretty special, too. Woohoo! I'm an ant! Or something. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on and join us. We're doing a hopping on one leg race. Okay, but I'll be the announcer. It's too hot here for a race. Not for me. Let's go. I'm on the mic. On your marks. Get set. Go! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ooh, hop around one leg or down. <laughs> Come on, Kobe. I'll help you up. And the winner is Eddie. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Tessa, you could have won the race. 
Winning a race is lots of fun, but helping a friend is number one. Yay, Yay Tessa! Go Cubby! Thank you.